Yeah, exactly. That's what she said. Nah. Nice and tight, and it's uh, yeah, it's in wheel suspension, so it's all double wishbone all around. They don't. There she yeah, is. Yeah, hit it. That's what happened. Like it's tight. Line. That's what she said. This is actually a little bit tighter than my Honda. My goodness! Wow. Almost looks like an automatic from the point of view here. Yeah, they remanufactured, like re, uh, what do they call that? Refurbished these. Right. But they're a lot of money, even from Japan. So right now, this has an attitude of its own. And the AC works beautiful it's in this car too. R12 baby, it's fucking freezing in this bitch. R12, I know, like the Honda. Too. No, it's R12, amazing. I know, yeah. They're not making the R12s though no more. That's it. This thing moves. I think you'll keep. I'm in the not race. even trying nothing. It's just climbing. It's got, so it's got more. It's a V6 with dual overhead cam. It's so amazing. That's incredible. Yeah, it feels really natural. And you were, you're right. You really feel the motor back here. I love it. Oh my God. What got me so aroused by this car when I was younger was the whole idea of a mid-engine car. I didn't even know about Senna. I didn't know about any of it. Aesthetically, it's pleasing, but the car itself is different. You know, you look at a Fiero and you hope that a thing is going to be fun. It's a piece of shit. You know, oh, totally, yeah, oh, yeah, totally two different animals. But the concept of like a mid-engine car and all that shit, especially coming from Japan. You know, not in Italy. Oh, he likes it. He Thank likes you. It. We were just we were just talking about that. <laughs> Enjoy it, buddy. Thank you, Thank brother. You. Yeah, you too. Thanks. And he thinks it's yours. Yo, you know what else I'm is kidding. crazy? That's Nobody said a lot of people grew up with the love for this car. Know, the yeah, way, you know. Yeah, I know. And look at the immaculate condition it is. It's like a high turner. You, you know, like every day you go on the road, somebody's gonna stop and say hello. Yeah, of course. No, you're right. 100. percent You can pick up chicks at the beach. Don't tell your don't tell your wifey though. Take a, take her to Belmar. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh uh, no, the, the cutest thing is, I had a girl come over to me. She's like, "That's a nice Civic." I was like, damn right, it's a nice Civic. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, it's funny. This gets a lot of attention, this car, man. Yeah. You won't ever stop for it, anybody. Look at, look you just want to keep driving. Oh, of course. You look at the beautiful way. It's also like, it looks like a Formula One race car, man. Yeah, look, at the, look at the view in this I'm car. I'm at like 10% throttle, and that's natural. It sounds it's incredible, trumpets. man. This is a, it's awesome. I love the motor, too. I mean, stock, I think they're, that's pretty nice stock, you know? Yeah. And this one's only a five speed, which is more incredible. Oh wow! I thought it was. Oh yeah. Only I think I the two thousand fours. I think are six. Yeah. yeah whenever they bump the displacement. Welcome back to Four Cybers, guys. This is a special, special day here for a review here. You know me at the Force. I got many hobbies, and obviously cars are one of them here. I got the NSX right here. This is a nineteen ninety one, all original NSX. This thing has the original tires on it from nineteen ninety one still, and they're actually not even dry rotted. Uh, the guys kept them in the garage. These original 225-60 R16. And the front of it, the front of the car is 205, of course. Staggered tires. Uh, probably, the, probably the more original NSX here. There's only one generation of NSXs, and they stopped making them, what, back in 2004? Uh, the new ones are just fake uh, NSXs. I don't like them. They're hybrids. They're not real, but they look beautiful. But this one here is, uh, I mean, a true gem here for the nsx generation here it's a clean car here beauty is just a lot sweeter than money you know having this beautiful piece of artwork right here from uh from honda from acura my honda's back there kind of similar generations of course the motors in the back we're gonna pop the pop the trunk pop the trunk soon and just go do a little review on this car and uh comparing it with my honda 2000 these true gems here of the uh, you know older generation cars they stop making these fun cars you know we're gonna have my my mechanic here at moose at the um, moose service center here moose automotives here manetal pin freehold border here route nine my good friend moose here he's like a master mechanic he knows his stuff he loves old cars as well you're gonna hear him talk about it 
and what are his thoughts on the NSX? He, the car is here for a slight tune-up and just oil change and just you know overall 100 point inspection. Again, it's it is original owner and this guy keeps his car in immaculate condition. I mean, shout shout out to him. A lot of respect to you, brother. When you see this video, uh, you got a beautiful car here. Very very nice. I'm a big Honda enthusiast myself. And here's the Mooster. It's a really nice car. It's a red car. Red said, nice color for a car. You said it's, it's red fun. and it's fucking fun. It's fucking fun. Check it out. I'll show you under the hood. All right, show me under the hood. Is that how you do the hood? Wow, the whole glass slips up. And then you got the panel here to hide it away. My a little God. dirty, but it's got 37,000 original miles of original man, dirt. Great. Original miles, original dirt. And you can't you didn't tell them put some silicone in here just to clean this shit out, man? Fuck no. You know what's really cool? It's weird a little bit, but if you kind of put your face in here, right. you can smell Honda. What does that smell? Oh, my, yeah. It's, it's, it smells like my car. It smells like, oh, it's a Honda. Oh, look, it's a Honda motor. Right it's here, got so. the douche VTEC on it and everything. Yeah. Well, let's start it up. Wow, look at the oil in this. The car looks immaculate though, man. Wow. So it's the original 3.0 liter, right, Moose? Three liter. Uh, three liter natural aspirated engine. We know that. People supercharge them yeah, from the factory. Yeah, turbo them, all that stuff. What did I do? I got the key here. This is car 1098. Yeah, I took a picture of that one. Nice. So, so sick. Here we go. Okay. This is in homage to Senna. That mofo. Wow. I, hear, I love that exhaust, Moose. Yeah. This is a nice ride. Very, very nice. See the gauges there? Why don't you do a little video of the gauges over there? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think the best part about this car, other than the red line, is that you sit here and you feel this thing vibrate right through your whole body. It's The it is. car is alive. What's also nice is unmolested original mileage. So it's been babied by me and loved by many, like this guy. Yes. Big well, we'll go for a ride after this. Yeah, yeah. Moose is a big car enthusiast. Also, he really appreciates the older cars. And he's a JDM guy, right, Moose? Yep, yep. Japanese cars, baby. A lot of love in the culture. Yeah. It's a one-owner vehicle. Loved by the original owner. The dog even likes it too, right, buddy? Yeah. What's his name again? Panda. Panda. What's the dog's name? Panda and Moose. Panda and Moose. They go together like a horse and carriage. It's so good. And this is also the throwback that everybody loves. Yeah. Let's see those lights. She blinks. Wait, wait, do that again. Oh, look at that. That's so sexy. So nice, so nice. Can you do the one eye blink? Nah, you gotta cut some wires, I think, for this shit. Oh, yeah. I do, like, I do like the pop-up headlights because it looks like a sleek and very, really just a uh, very, you know, bleak look to the car, very smooth. It's a really nice I device. do admire this car a lot, though. This is like the kind of, what kind of started Honda, right? And yeah. they made this puppy here, this 2005 Honda 2000. I had an O2. I wrecked it. It was tragic, but this was the most fun, too. Like these high rev motors are so solid and they're very happy when you rev oh well, yeah absolutely and this is cool. very happy car and it's also happy yellow you want to take these on the road uh, yeah uh, well, how about the red one first? We'll, we'll go car to car i will compare the two car to, oh yeah sure All absolutely right. can i leave right this part yeah staggered like this yeah. okay you heard him we're gonna go for a little joy ride put a dog, dog away all right, all right panda go in go follow moose that you can hold the camera, you can talk on it. Mm -hmm. Which is the story about, uh, he's gonna explain the story about the guy. So Paul's taking over, I'm letting him drive the car. So, what's with the steering? It's different. The engine's in the back, all the weight's different. What the fuck is this? It's like a go-kart, man. It is a go-kart on steroids. My goodness. So the story, the backstory, how I came across his car, uh, the gentleman showed up in a Hyundai and he starts making small talk about what kind of cars I'm into, just kind of giving me feelers and stuff. I told him I'm a big Honda enthusiast, which I really am. I had a lot of cool Hondas. I tried to get this car before. I, I just kept missing it. And then it's funny how God delivers one to you. It's not even yours. You get to take care of it, drive it all the time. You know, I take responsibility for these cars. Like they're my own. And I think that's what people appreciate. You know, they see how you handle things and it's aligned with how they handle things that give you their trust. He was tickling me, asking me all these crazy questions about this car in particular. And I didn't understand where he was going with it. And he shows up one day with this car. And he's like, yeah, he's like, I just want to know if you really knew what you were talking about. And I was like, well, I guess I hope I, I knew enough to get your attention. Now I got you here. So we had a problem with this car. The battery was dying because the car never drove. And the common problem is the window motors got stuck. Um, I forgot exactly what it was. We changed something, but we took the door panel off. But anyway, this, so cool. this car is really a little like gear. nothing like it. Nothing like it. Putting no. in the gears is incredible. Such a historical car. 
Yeah. This is a great privilege driving this car, by the way. I'd rather drive this car than the new one, I tell you that much right now. I agree. I have more of an appreciation for these older ones because they're like the, what started Acura and the MSX generation. And all the gearheads and Jap car guys like me. I'm Jap car and American car. Hey, you gotta love them all, right? Yeah. You gotta show your love, guys. You can't just love one kind of car company. And they also, you can't be a snob. Like, you know, you're never nope. too good. I get excited over station wagons in good condition. I mean, <laughs> I like you, you know, it's part of our generation, even if the generation's a couple of decades or so. I mean, you know, there's shit that you grew up with, you saw, it had a purpose. Those old Audis, the Audis. Yeah. The S6 station wagons. Oh my God, I love those. Those look so badass. Are we still on there? Yeah, yeah, we're still on. They just. Those battery saver mode. All right. Uh, Where's that Route 9 from here? You can go out that way. Just anyway, right? Yeah, just go straight. Wow, I love the, uh, I love the pull on this thing, man. Ooh. It's just different. It's the third gear. It's got a lot of power. Yeah, you'll forget what gear you're in because they stretch out. I was in yeah, fourth gear incredible. at 115. I was like, this is not even near red line. Wow. Yeah, so if you put the really power behind it, it just doesn't stop climbing. I've seen it's Japanese videos, you know, it. there's that whole crew out there, Top End. I don't know if they're still around, but shout out to Top End out in Japan. These guys hang around the 200 mile an hour range in the highways. How about Spoon? Yeah, Spoon Sports, another phenomenal company. What's going on? A circus over here? Yeah, I got something going on. Let's bring this car in there. It's a circus car. Yeah, let's see. He needs a whole bunch of people so touching some hot dogs or something. Charge them to take pictures. Oh, this motor sounds incredible, man. It's alive and it's healthy. It's like strictly like brand And the brakes are great on it. This guy broke down because he's got a Mercedes. He probably uh, broke down. But you're handling this car pretty good for the first time in the, in the oh, yeah, seat. Right? That's because I'm there's 2000. I know, yeah. I, know what to, I know what she wants. But you feel where the clutch rides, right? It's right weird. away. I feel it right yeah. away. It's like the Honda S2000. Yeah. Very, very similar. This one's slightly higher though with the, with the uh, sweet spot. Mm -hmm. We call those sweet spots. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you go left to right, left to right. Go left. Okay. Let's see if I can keep it in gear and just hold the throttle. Turns nice. It's got a little bit more bite roll than the S2K, I gotta say. Yeah, well, listen again. This is not these tires. The track, yeah, yeah, and these tires, who knows, they'll stay on the rim. <laughs> right. You can't really push it. But uh, I think a tweak with suspension and this car would be like a track ready vehicle. But who yeah. puts an N6 on a track, though? You not this particular one. You know what's crazy? I think these people are lunatics. Ever see those classic car drip races that they have? These people driving Shelby's and all this shit, real ones. On the tracks, too. Yeah, and yeah, like, what, you know, yeah, say goodbye when it's gone. They pretty much make Japanese suspension to an American car, and then you put it on the track. Like a BMW, the old 325 IS, mm -hmm. those are awesome in the track. Those cars handle, man. Those old, the old, old, those old inline sixes. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I yeah. love it. The old cars are the best, like, you know, walkers and pull walkers into those cars. It's kind of a machine he passed away, but, uh... They killed him. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. I guess the cars killed him, literally, right? Let's see if I can go to four. You downshift this car at all? Okay. Yeah. It's not too bad. I tell you, she's yeah, all for the highway, though. though. It's, what's up? Yeah, I know. She's all for the highway. You gotta tell that customer that this thing needs new tires ASAP for safety reasons. He's gotta put a pair of Continentals on here. He don't drive it. It doesn't matter. When he I does know. drive it, you want him to be safe on the road. Yeah, I'm, I was safe I mean, for me to drive. <laughs> 30 year, 31 year a tire on the car, I don't know. It's they crazy. can just kind of fall off the rim, right? Yeah. We talk, we talk about keeping this car below 100. You gotta keep it below 80. I don't know. I tell you, <laughs> don't go out at night. You become you become night rider in real life. But I like the handle though. The handle is really nice. It's kind of cruising by the lanes. And you feel that, yeah, you feel the engine. I mean, it's, it's so, and so the sound good. is incredible. It's crazy. It. You, and it's a bone stock car. Yeah, this is also a review like by a mechanic and a, by a regular Joe Schmo who knows nothing about cars, really. He knows so, much. But That's he knows all. a lot more than me, Moose. Yeah. He works in these cars. He has the same appreciation that I do. Right, Moose? Yeah, I the end of the day. I appreciate people. I appreciate their rides. I try to help everybody. Yeah, if you guys you know? are, 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 in a pit, are in a pinch with your car, mm -hmm. come over here down, if you live in New Jersey, Freehold. An open area. Yeah, you want to deal with real people, not bullshit people? Come see your boy yep. at 199 Route 9 in Manalba, New Jersey, or English Town 07726, and we'll fix your shit or we'll fix your brains. If you got bad brains, I do that too. But he, uh, you do tunes? No, right? No, I only do service. English Town does keep tunes, everything though. simple. Yeah, exactly. You want crazy shit? I'll send you crazy people. You can literally just stay in fourth gear and kind of cruise around. So you, don't even, you don't even have to like uh, change gears. Anything. I mean, it goes pretty fast. Go drive an STI. You got to go through all your gears just to go down the street. Yeah, this so this is like 60 miles an hour is like only like 4,000 RPMs. Nothing. Out of four gear. It's crazy. And the motor can go up to like this motor can rep to like seven and a half, eight, no problem. All day. All day long. 
with a fresh oil change? All day. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, just easy driver, you know? Mm -hmm. I also note to self and note to you guys, always pay attention <laughs> to your oil level. A lot of these cars eat oil. It evaporates internally. So you recommend holding some oil in the trunk? Keep I mean, the oil front, the with front. you. Keep checking your fucking oil. Sorry for cursing, but check your oil. You know how many people come in and need an oil change? There's no oil to be changed. It's empty. Oh you know? God, yeah. Man, the, the motor's not even knocking, right? Yeah, it's Probably. just a cre it's like it hardly anything weird. left. But, you know, a lot of people don't realize today's engines, they don't need to leak. They evaporate oil. It breaks because down. Zero there's a lot of heat. Yeah, there's a lot of heat. Then Moose, oil. Moose also has the, uh, what, 2018 STI? What is yeah, that? Yeah, 2020. I had the 18, 20, same shit. But another, another great car, a lot of fun. It's more of a, a suitable ride for the Four Seasons. What's your what's your opinion about the boxer engine? You like those? Or you I really do. The four bangers I really I I am a new friend Ooh, of the boxer motor. Close, man. Yeah. I love it. Man, it's like I think it's just better than my car, man. The, the way it sounds. It's crazy different. Such a so beautiful, cool. such a well engineered also machine too. It's simple engineering with Honda and reliable. Yeah, and if you guys want to see something cool, I just stumbled upon this recently. But go look at the videos that are out on YouTube on Senna's influence on this car. Guy was such a boss. He was just pulling this car like a madman in loafers. No helmet, no jacket. Just give me this shit. I'll show you what he could do. Come back. What'd you think? Make it more rigid. No insult taken. They go and make the car more rigid. More rigid? Yeah. When they first did the R&D. Oh, my 2000 and Moose loves this car too. I love this car. You I love have the best memories in this thing. I want to say to you, you can fuck her as hard as you want. I love y'all. I'm going to be nice to her. <laughs> I respect she's, she's pretty much warmed up too. Yeah, it's a pretty good car. Yeah. How's the clutch compared to the NSX? More... Totally different, way more responsive. Yeah. I love the gearbox in this car. It's just so crazy. You're hitting radio there too? Hitting so radio? Good. Is this your exhaust making this noise? Yeah, yeah, it's a factory exhaust. Wow. That's factory, that's what it is from Honda. I didn't touch the exhaust. This is like completely bone stock. Not, not many of them exist like this. Moose. This is sick. Right? Why put money into it when it's going to be worth more in the future? I mean, I guess people can, you know. But there's just so many. This car stock is great. Like, yeah, it's nice, no right? To... Suspension. No need to do anything to it, right? You kind of enjoy how it is, you know, how it comes in from the factory. You can spend 40 grand on it for a month. I know my friend did. Joe, I know you did, Joe. I put that out there, but he doesn't. He doesn't really know. He doesn't watch my YouTube anyway. He doesn't watch my YouTube? No. Yeah, he might. He might watch this. This would be, be posted on the SDK mob in New Jersey. I'll tell you. Yeah, you're easier to drive. You already know the size of the car. Yeah, right you know what's away, crazy? Right? I'm coming from an AP1 more than a decade ago. I already noticed this car. A little bit different? The torque is way better. You really need it. Yeah, I know. I, I think it really, if, you really need it. I know. You really need it. That's what the Americans want more power. And then Japan's like, all right, we'll give you 10 more foot pounds feet of torque. No problem, but we'll put it, we'll put the band a little bit lower. lower yeah. Yeah, a little bit lower. That's why band. I crashed mine. That high rev can get a little squirrely. Oh, you get a little bit, yeah, you get a little bit antsy with the car. You're like, come on, give me the power. Yeah, I gotta emphasize this. When I crashed my car, it was fucking horrifying, but the tree was right here, but the car is built so well. I could have been in any other car and probably would have died. The tree was right here? The tree made it, destroyed the passenger seat. My God. I had been put in this spot and not been touched by anything. This whole compartment which you sit is the safest place that you could be. Wow. Yeah. But if you were hitting that side, Yeah, it's a different okay. story. But right, right. I mean, for what this thing is, like the way the-, the So the, you spun out and just hit a tree? I tried to recover, but I was going too fast and I saw a Mercedes, so I just let go. Oh my Ended god. Ended up in a tree and I'm like, I'm alive. Thank god. Yeah. So the Honda took a big hit and saved your life. There you go. The, and the not way to sound built. like a total maniac, but we had the body shop in those days. We had a couple body shops. We had great guys. They were able to pull that car back to straight, which wow. I couldn't even believe it. And then you sold it. Yeah, we had to get rid of it. Yeah, it was a black car. I don't yeah. know what mean black car is a little bit. And this also, thing. this is the last generation. This is a 2005, so this is the last year. It has no traction control either. So if you Thank crash God. it, it's like driver's error. Yeah. You can't blame the car. You just blame yeah, the driver. Yeah, 100%. I was going too fast in the rain. The road was all is. choppy. Right. You cannot, uh, you And I these mean, cars are light. If you see videos online, a lot of guys spin out. And they flip them? Yeah. They can flip Thank them. God for this thing. Yeah. Well, this here is structural too. This is all structural. Yeah. There's a beam in here also. There is. You can land upside down. Yeah, hit it. That's good. It was all right. Okay, this is a throttle is it, is it by 
This Water. is a, no, this is a cable. It's cable rattle? Yeah. yeah. You don't feel it? That's hard to tell. Yeah, drop out wires. I know this is a, the last year also cable throttle, so which is awesome. Such a driver's car. So I, I'm getting horny just watching him drive it. I love this thing. Talk about some car pornography right here. We yeah. have car porno. We got the NSX and the Honda. I mean, how much more hardcore porn you want to see on one, one channel, one, you know, one video? I bet your girlfriend for, for or your car, wife does not the car guys. like this car does. For the other car enthusiasts, you know? When, when you fuck them, they don't talk back. They don't talk back. Well, the cars I'm talking so about. So smooth. <laughs> but how you feel from the drive from the um, from the NSX? And how you feel the brakes? The brakes are good? The brakes are great. I just put the brakes on yesterday, thank you. You know what you do notice though? This car, it feels very tight. Not like the occupancy, the, the drive of the car, the way it puts the power. It feels like you're in a solid vehicle. The NSX is a solid car. But it, it feels light. Like it you go fast, wacky, you feel like it come off the ground. It feels a little bit more white. This, this thing, is more planted. Yeah. A lot more planted. Yeah, yeah you yeah. feel like you're in a real machine. Real, I don't know. real race car. Almost like a yeah. race car kind of feel, right? It's a lot of a different characteristic. They don't build these cars like this no more, do they, Moose? Nothing. Nothing. How about yours? Like your... we're, uh, we're back with this iconic ride there with Moose. These are two iconic cars here that never will be made again, I think, right? They never will be produced ever again. Maybe in our next lifetimes, I suppose. I hope something because you know this is a, a staple of a driver's car both of these cars they're unique to each other and side by side they look really like a, a great pair I do that. there's a lot of shit going on here yeah i should have i should have came in with a hamburger and put some mustard and ketchup on it while i'm when i'm doing the video i mean look at that <laughs> yellow mustard and some ketchup that's pretty interesting but yeah i mean look at these guys you can't say they're even dated now either I mean, this car looks more beautiful than the current Ferraris, the Acura NSX. This car would never be dated, you know? No. And just look at the design of it. Looks just, just look, look at that. The rear vent that works. That fucking works. It actually has a function. It's not some goofy piece of junk. You know? No, it has it's functional vents. The tires are designed for the car. It's staggered tires, offset. Yo, you remember like even this was such a big deal. This cool, weird exhaust. Yeah, exactly. Still carrying that, that big. In your face. Face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they carry it over. I, I love it though. And the plate's not fake. The plate is real. I got the plate by New Jersey DMV, thank God. How the hell did I do that? And yeah. I, I'm not sure which car I like better, but I do like the, uh, the Ferraris. Nice. Remember, Shugi Urahara, like we said before, designed both these cars. So they're like very icons. NSX is worth a lot more money, of course. But this will go up in probably six years, over yeah. $100,000. And look at, the, look at how nice they keep the rims. I don't, I don't try to scratch them up. And you know what's crazy? What's the difference between a Type R and this car? Just the displacement and layout. Because if you ask me, this is what it's really all about. A, a bulletproof? It's insane. Oh, the, the, the motor. Naturally aspirated, totally solid. It's it's a marvel. Yeah, same thing. You can yeah. rev the engine when you want. You want when you want to rev it. Mid engine, boom, behind the shocks. Yeah behind, the, yeah, behind the front shocks, yep. It's incredible. They don't make this, and now you have uh, plastic everything now. Plastic valve cover, plastic intake manifold. Dude, this that's is actually, aluminum. I'm so glad you brought it up. Do you know why I love Honda so much? Because of this bad boy right here. We still rock aluminum intake manifolds. Maybe they hold more heat than the modern shit, but there's metal on metal, not plastic on metal, because that is shit, if it, you ask me. Can those actually melt? Uh, I don't no. even know, but I know they warp, they leak, they, oh, they crack. Warp. They warp, yeah. You know, God forbid it's a little old, it's flimsy. This this motor will never Look change. Look at that, I put a little cover in it, isn't that cool? Yeah. I like to see you wear protection. It's you good. guys ever heard of LHT? They're down in Florida right there. This covers up a little, oh my God, that's hot. Why are that yeah. hot? <laughs> what is that thing, the solenoid again? I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> this is it though, this is, this is a Type R in a convertible with a bigger displacement. Yeah, this that's is also the pinnacle of like four cylinder engineering right here, the pinnacle. There's no better engines than this right here from Honda. I mean, there is now when they make them, but this is like the, the holy grail here, guys, of the four bangers. You know Honda, Honda loves their four bangers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, forged dome internals, so this could be turbo, supercharged, without any kind of modifications. To I'm going to tell you the only failure <laughs> I've seen that was incredible, they boosted this thing so much. Okay, I think they only did the valve train on this motor and a head gasket, if the head gasket was even touched. But long story short, they got this thing up to like 900 horsepower, 
and the failure was the freeze plugs dropped. And they didn't even actually cause any internal wear. They put the motor back together and put the boost back up. Then it was, it was the so motor moving. was expanding so rapidly that the brass rings didn't meet the speed of the rest of the motor, and that's how it fell oh, through. Oh, the brass ring got it. Imagine, but the point so, is, the it's block so, was so good. The nothing motor's... happened. They put it back together and hit the track. Oh my they god! They couldn't even believe themselves. They were expecting total engine failure. It was nothing. Oh my, that's crazy. It's that amazing. What are those copper? What are you talking about those copper? The, the freeze plugs in the cylinder head for the, where, where there'd be like blank jackets for the coolant to flow through. Oh, okay, got it. So what happened was, uh, there's a video, you'll find if you look for it, but that 2000 engine failure was not what we all expected. This motor is so solid. Wow. Honda is so solid. It's, well, it's like a bulletproof uh, forge cylinder. It's bulletproof, amazing. Bulletproof, right? Yeah. All forged internals. Carbon with a, like a carbon sleeve for the pistons. Yeah, to go chain down. driven and all that shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. And this, was the, this was the last year of cable throttle and no traction control here, so it's kind of, uh, kind of, uh, you know, a real raw car. It's a real, real, real raw, and you really feel the gas pedal that you're driving the car and you're opening up that butterfly valve. No freaking computer is. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to wait for a reaction. Or no, anything. it's instant, simultaneously throttle response. This car, instantaneous throttle response, just like the NSX over there. Mm -hmm. She was the same. She felt the same way as far as the throttle. And the AC still works 18 years later. Yeah, free without no service. Unbelievable. This AC system is also from a Honda, a Honda Accord, you know. Is it? Yeah, they just put it in the, from a Honda Accord. So it's a pretty big AC system here. It gets pretty cold it's in there. It's freezing for no reason. Yeah, it gets cold pretty quick. I wish you could, you know, put that AC system to the engine like Dodge does with their demons, right? That's it's cool. liquid cooled from the AC system. More shit to break. Yeah. Well, thanks all for watching, guys. Here, Force Hobbies out again. The cell station here in Manalpin. Freehold Moose Automotives. For all your automotive needs. And Moose gets a free commercial from it and I get to drive an NSX, which is fantastic. Like to subscribe guys, thank you. <laughs> See you later. Gotta love this stuff. Such good car porn.